Hi, welcome to today's English class. In this class, we are going to continue the story, The Battle of Saurians. In the previous class, we learned how they started the journey, the way they measured the depth of the sea, and finally, we ended at a place when two sea monsters, a great sea serpent and a monstrous crocodile, were in the both sides of the raft. What did the adventurers do then? Let us see it in this class. On seeing the monsters, Axel, the narrator, took a rifle and aimed to shoot. But the guide, Hans, stopped him because the gunshot would make no harm and they may attack them in return. Suddenly, the monsters passed the raft and started fighting each other. Yes, the battle of Saurians. The narrator could see the other two. The turtle and the whale monsters reappeared. But it's not true. Hans answered the narrator that only two monsters were here. The narrator argued, No, how can there be only two? And his uncle, Professor, replied that Hans was correct. One of the monsters which almost looked like a whale and crocodile and it was Ichthyosaurus. It's also called as Great Fizz Lizard and the other with the hot shell of a turtle was Plesiosaurus. It's also called as Sea Crocodile. Yes, these two giants were fighting in the middle of the sea. We are the first to see two primitive reptiles, the narrator thought. The creatures Ichthyo saw were really huge, more than a hundred feet. The other Plesiosaurus has a cylindrical body with short tail, having fins like woes of Roman galley. The whole body is covered by a shell with a long flexible neck like a swan rises more than 30 feet above the waves. They attack one another with fury. The battle rose huge waves that makes our raft to go to and fro. Three hours passed. No change. Both were still actively fighting and suddenly they disappeared into the sea and that created a maelstrom, a whirlpool that almost got us. It all became silent. We thought the battle was over. All of a sudden, the head of Plesiosaurus rose out of waters. It was heavily wounded. It twists and curls its long neck and that made huge waves in all directions. Yes was heavily wounded. The Plesiosaurus was wounded. Minutes passed and it slowly died. Plesiosaurus was dead and its body was now on the calm waters. The narrator thought that the mighty Ichthyosaurus went to its cave to rest. He may reappear at any time and we don't know it. Till then, we have some breathing time, the narrator said to himself. Yes, the battle came to end. The mighty Ichthyosaurus won the battle and to know more, read the novel Journey to the Center of the Earth by Jules Verne. That's the end of the story and thank you for watching this video. Have a happy day ahead.